Farrakhan is the most humblest, most intelligent. You you just know that he's ordained by God. Like when you in his presence, you know you know that God sent this man. It's it's, it's just something that you know. So I see like, like you have a lot of influence. Like I was on your brand, like a lot of celebrities follow you. Like you have a lot of respect in the industry and also in the streets, you have a good balance. So I wanna, and I like how you hold artists accountable. Mm -hmm. Like, like it's like you're an artist, you have a platform, do something positive with it. So how do, so what's, so I want you to tell the people like the difference or the similarities of rocking a mic on the stage versus holding a mic, leading a march or giving a speech on some activism tip. Cause I think, I mean, I think it's up to you. You know, I think it's what. What do you think is the difference? For me, you know, at this point, music is a passion, and activism, and, and fighting for the rights and equality of my people is my purpose. So what I do is I try to combine both. Okay. You know, I understand that that hip hop is the language of our youth. Mm. You know, so that's that's the the, the communication. So if I'm trying to communicate, what, these are the people I'm trying to save. Mm. So if I'm trying to mm. save them, then my messaging has to be in the way, in the language that they listen to. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm very intentional about every time that I utilize, I rap about something, that there's is a message. In it. Even if it's just a dope rap, it has to be message. I don't I don't want to waste my, my bars no more. I'm not just saying shit just to say it. It got to be something that you get from it. So... Every time that I, I, I use a mic in the street and I'm I'm talking at a rally, it's the same way when I use a mic and I'm and I'm rapping. You okay. Know? It's, it's it's always to get a message across. It's always to invoke some level of responsibility or for you to enact it, for you to call on yourself or call yourself to your higher self. Call yourself to your higher self. I'm pretty good at science. That's a good science right there. I watch your gram, I see that you real fit. Maybe a lot of training. You mm -hmm. working out, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, like, talking to people about the points of working out. I mean, why you should train. Health is well, man. I don't care what you got. If if you're not healthy, you could be rich. If you ain't healthy, you ain't gonna live the spirit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I started working out when I was in prison. It was when I really got focused on it, but I understood, you know, that it it, it creates so many different things. It, it 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 plays on your mind. When your body is healthy. And your mind is strong. Your, your mind is strong. You you able to see things. You know, one of my mentor, who's. Been working out for. He's sixty one years old. And nigga look like he's twenty five. I see those in the ground. You know what I'm saying? So, and he said he trains his his body, his mind, not his body. You know what I'm saying? When he's exercising, he's training his mind because once he convinces his mind, his body's gonna follow everything. So that's what it is. It's just like when you when you get into a regimen and you're strong in it and you consistent, then it plays into every aspect of your life. Everything that you do becomes like that. You you dedicate it to me. And that's how I live my life. When I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. I don't care. What nobody says you're not stopping me from doing achieving my goal. Yeah, you're very strong minded guy. So speaking of strong minded, can you give us two books as far as either must read or your favorite either one? You know what I mean? Be like um, two books that I The Finding of the Third Eye. Wow, Finding of the Third Eye. By Vera Staley and um I think that myself. Who is book that I one of my favorite books. Damn. <laughs> just, I'll come back to you. Yeah, and, and uh, you. give us give us one or two of some activists, past or a lot that you look up to. Probably past, like, like you great. UEP was one of my favorite. You know, UEP Newton. Um, I liked Malcolm. That's pretty much yeah, Malcolm, the, the epitome of what it is for me because he 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 was street. And then he it was you you seen the evolution yeah, change his life for him. You know what I'm saying? He went from red to Malcolm, so he's pretty much 
It's one of the the activists that I pretty much idolize and I, and I model what it is that I want to be. You know, how I want to be perceived. When you go to the Million Dollar March, you been from New York? Been New York? Um, the first, I, I wasn't at the first Million Man March. I wasn't even conscious. I didn't even understand what was going on. Nah, nah, nah. Tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? I was just, you know, my father passed away, so I didn't have, like, strong male role models that was involved that deep into what was going on. But I was, the 20th anniversary of the march. In DC, I was there. I spoke at that march. You spoke at that? Yeah. Well, uh, Farrakhan? Yeah. You ever met Farrakhan? Yes. That's one. Oh. Farrakhan is also one of my mentors. Wow. How, how, how was that? How was... Farrakhan is the most humblest, most intelligent, you you just know that he's ordained by God. Like when you in his presence, you know you know that God sent this man. It's it's, it's just something that you know. Mm-hmm.